Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, let's take a look at the trainer gallery market and see how it's doing. Uh, just like all tarts, it did rise up and now it's falling, but I think trainer galleries got the worst part of the pump and dub because it's pretty much giving back all its gains. Um, so a very important lesson in Pokemon collecting is do not FOMO into the hype. Starting off with Mewtwo V-Star from the Galarian Gallery. This card was a $45 card before the hype hit a high of $74. Now sitting at $52, which is a 30% drop. Now just $7 above where it started at. Next up, we have Stormy V, my top trainer gallery card to collect. Um, if you don't already have one, grab one. I think it's a beautiful looking card. This one started out $39, hit a high of $68. Now back to $51, so it's still $12 above where it started. So this one actually is holding value pretty well compared to others, um, only down 25%. Next, we have Pikachu VMAX with red, an awesome looking card, very epic in my eyes. Started around $33, hit a high of $50, now back to $36, so just $3 above where it started from. Next up, we have Glacian V-Star. This one actually gained a lot. It started at $16, hit a high of $42. That's a gain of 162%, but now it's back to $26, so it's actually holding up very well. This card was really undervalued, I think, um, for being Evolutions. Next up, we have Garchomp V with Cynthia in my top 34 Turner Gallery cards. Beautiful looking card. Started at $19, hit a high of $50, so it doubled up in value, but now it's down over 50%, hitting at, sitting at $25, just $5 above where it was. Next, we have Pikachu V with Red, a $20 card that hit a high of $32, so not a lot in gains. Now sitting at $25, so just $5 from where it started. Back to fair value for a lot of these cards. Next up, we have the Umbreon V. Now this card went crazy, just like all Umbreon's card did during the uh, hype. It was a $14 card for a long, long time. So very low, very cheap for a training gallery. And they hit a high of $60, which is crazy. That's a 4X on your return on investment. So if you bought a bunch of these, you make great returns. But now it's like the biggest loser, down 62%. But it's still nine dollars above where it started which is kind of where i bought it at and if you guys watch my prior videos you know i love speculating on how much a card will be after its release because i love picking up cards at a great deal i don't like picking up cards when the, there's a lot of hype behind it like in situations like these where these ev cards are like doubling up in value overnight that's gonna be the best time to sell those cards take those gains turn it into something that you really want with those gains and when english cards get really hyped up and become way too expensive go look at the japanese market a lot of these cards are not going to do the same thing over in the Japanese market because there's not a lot of manipulation on their platform when you're buying from eBay. I mean, it's a bigger market than TCG players, so there's no price manipulation. This card did not go from $15 to $30 in Japanese. Also, these Crown Zenith cards just could not hold value because this Entei went from $14 to $26 back to $18. And there's just so much Crown Zenith out there. There's going to be a new Sam's Club Crown Zenith bundle coming out. So these pull rates are just too good. Supply is too much out there for them to sustain their prices. And this Raikou, one of my favorite cards, $16 up to $24, back to $18, just $2 or more. All these cards gain a lot of, they double up in value, but at the same time, gave it all back. They're mostly like $2 to $5 more than where they were. So let's see if waiting out actually worked out for me uh, with a few of these Trinity Gallery cards that I still want to pick up, starting with this Rayquaza. Started out as a $30 card, hit a high of $52. Now back to 35. So by being patient, you save yourself $22 by paying only $5 more now than what you were going to pay just a month ago. Next up, we have this Leafeon V-Star, which I want to complete with my Glaceon V-Star. So this card started at $21, hit a high of 44, so it doubled up in value. Now at $27, so that's a gain of 23 versus now only up $6. So between these two cards, that's about a $40 in savings, I think. Also, by looking at the chart, that's when you should buy the card. When it's flat like that for months on end, that's a fair value for the card. Don't buy it when there's manipulation going on where it's jumping up in value 2x overnight. Let those manipulators bag hold those cards at $40. Let it fall back down and pick it up when it's fair value again. Last card I want to pick up is this Dark Cry card. Um, this one's pretty much been actually at a very natural climb. $15 to $20 back to $18. That's the natural progression of how a value of a card really should go up in value over time versus doubling up in value just is unnatural. Uh, those always got to retrace to what people are willing to pay. So by being patient with that example, I'm saving myself 80%. So that extra $40 that I now have can be put towards a second Rayquaza or buying two Dark Cries if I wanted to or any other card that I want to add to my collection. 
Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you took advantage of that selling opportunity. Put those gains towards something else that you really want. New singles, new sealed product. I guess I'll catch you guys on the next video.